Well, welcome to question one from the end of chapter 12 from the book Fundamentals of Particle Technology, which is uh, chapter 12 is all about solid solid mixing. And um, I'm going to do really question one parts A and C. So just this and this. Uh, I'll tackle part B in a separate uh, video, otherwise it gets a bit too too much. Anyway, uh, the question says that there's an international standard that allows allowable variation in composition of the active ingredient of plus or minus 10% around some specified value, some specification. Uh, the tablet itself is supposed to contain 10% active ingredient, so therefore 90% other material. Okay, and the question is a, an unusual one, but a, one with important repercussions because the calculation is the minimum number of particles in order to achieve this specification of just 10% variation around an active ingredient com content of 10%. So Let's assume the particles are all the same size and then calculate the number of particles that is needed to achieve this specification. So if we move down a little bit, what we will do here is apply uh, Lace's equation. And Lace's equation says that the variance so that'll be sigma r squared, where r stands for random. So the random variance of samples drawn from a powder mixture, free-flowing powder mixture, is equal to the number proportion p times by the number proportion q, all divided by the total number of particles which is what we're interested in. So the number proportion P, that's the active ingredient, is going to be 10% or 0.1. Q is obviously the rest, so that's 0.9. N0 is obviously what we're looking for. Uh, so that leaves us with trying to calculate a value for the variance between the samples drawn by some other means so that we can use Lace's equation and rearrange it for n naught. Well, this is where we come down to the confidence levels on what we're investigating. So if we call, let's say this is delta x and we have um, an active ingredient value of 10%, that's equal to 0 0.1, and samples taken from the powder mixture, we hope are going to be at 0 0.1, but there'll be some samples taken from, from the powder mixture less than 0 0.1, some samples taken from the powder mixture higher than 0 0.1. And of course, eventually, we'll get to the limit of what's acceptable. and we're told in the question that it's 10% is what's acceptable. Well, 10% of 0 0.1 is, of course, 0 0.01. So if we add 0 0.01 to 0 0.1, we know we're operating in that range there. And conversely, down to 0 0.09 down here. So any samples taken or products produced that have the proportion of active ingredient between these two limits is is okay. So these are all okay within specification. Uh, and then of course the question is what's our confidence in being within specification? Well let's use a simple uh, normal distribution value. Let's use the 99.8% value in point of fact, actually, it's not slightly less than 99.8, but 
but uh, it's rounded to an even number to make life easier. And that is three times the standard deviation. So plus or minus three times the standard deviation around the mean, as drawn here, if that's three times the standard deviation, the delta x value, 99.8% uh, of the population is between these two boundaries, the, the lower boundary at 0 0.09, the upper boundary at 1.11. So if we persist with this, uh, our variation, delta x, as drawn here, is equal to uh, three times the standard deviation. And delta x was equal to 0 0.01, because we're told 10% uh, of variation around the mean is uh, acceptable. So in other words, sigma r is equal to 0 0.01 over 3. And we want sigma r squared because the variance is the square of the standard deviation. So that gives us uh, a square on both sides. So that is the value we can use for our variance in Lacey's equation. And if we do that, then that implies that n naught is going to be equal to p q all divided by 0 0.01 over 3 squared, where p and q are 0 0.1 and 0 0.9. So I can put those values in rather than, so it's 0 0.1 times by 0 0.9. And that gives us a number of particles which is equal to 8,100. 8,100 particles. But, hold on a minute. Is our choice of 3 times sigma r, is our choice of this particular level of confidence good enough for a pharmaceutical product? Hence the question here is asking out of a batch of one million tablets, how many will be outside the, the standard? Okay, well, if we're saying 99.8, and we deliberately went to an even number to make life easier, then one in a thousand, so one in 1,000 will be less than 0 0.09, and one in a thousand will be greater than 0 0.11. In other words, two in a thousand are out of spec, and two in a thousand is going to give us two times a thousand out of spec particles in one million. So we're in trouble. So 8,100 particles gives us something that's okay at the 99.8% confidence, but we're making a lot more than just 1,000 particles. We're making a million particles. Uh, so we cannot afford to have 2,000 particles out of spec. So that then leads to the question, what should we do? So if we go to this little spreadsheet here, it has the values of specification and confidence. And if I just uh, magnify it a little bit. So here are our sigma values. We started at the 99.8, uh, and that was one in above uh, and one below 1,000. OK, uh, then there's four sigma, which is 99.99% confidence. 5 sigma, 99.99994 of the distribution lies between uh, 5 times the standard deviation around the mean and etc. Yeah, there's 6 sigma and 7 sigma. 
and then tabulated over here is the the variation around the limits we've established that's uh, one below and one above so it's you have to double this uh, to give you out of spec for both sides uh, in a thousand so that would be two in a thousand uh, that would be six in a hundred thousand outside those limits uh, five sigma is going to be six in ten million okay now clearly we were asked about a million particles million pills so we're obviously looking at something over four sigma possibly over five sigma because you know don't forget this is three below and three above so that's six actually outside of 10 million we should be possibly looking really at the six sigma level because that now is one particle above the bottom limit one particle above the top limit below the top bottom limit above the top limit sorry the other way around uh, so that's two particles out of a hundred million yeah a hundred million so that is in order to try and minimize the uh, the um, potential to overdose somebody then i think we're looking at six sigma uh, and that's what you can see down here at six if we go to the six sigma level then the number of items out of spec that was the for three sigma for three sigma we were talking about two thousand items out of spec the items here being pills but if we go to six sigma we've now diminished it to a really negligible as in close to zero uh, items out of spec okay uh, the other column here is just about the what the standard deviation is the maximum permissible standard deviation in order to achieve the uh, this variation so we know we're going to have to operate at six sigma in order to achieve uh, close to zero pills out of a million so okay that's not a problem we just have to change the equation so that the number of particles then is going to be equal to p and q again that's not going to change 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 uh, and we need to divide that by the actual variation what i call delta x here hasn't changed that's still going to be naught point zero one but what is going to change is the value of uh, standard deviations because we can now move move to six sigma rather than um, three sigma which is what we had before it's squared so you'll be surprised to learn that the standard deviation value has a very significant effect in the answer and in fact the number of particles now becomes 33 We'll call it 33,000 to two significant figures anyway. So uh, 33,000 particles will give us zero uh, out of spec. Zero out of spec in one million. So what's the practical consequence? If we try mixing large particles, this is for one pill. If we try mixing large particles to make one pill, we're in danger of having an awful lot of out of spec particles, out of spec pills. However, if we have much, much finer particles, then we can diminish that to a highly, conf highly confident result in uh, uh, achieving the specification of all the pills being plus or minus 0 0.01 so our confidence is close to 100% in achieving the specification that the range of active ingredient is between 0 0.09 and 0 0.11 which is what we were told we were looking for we're trying to ob obtain a high confidence of achieving our specifications as, def as, look as modelled by the normal distribution there. So it's all down to mixing much, much finer particles uh, in order to achieve that, provided the particles are free-flowing. And uh, that's the assumption we've made from laces 
use of Leyster's equation. OK, so part two of the video looks at the mass distribution, which is the answer to question, uh, to part B of this question. OK, goodbye.